84 years ago, the Holocaust petrified Europe. The next 12 years were full of events that can only be described as horrendous. Six million Jews were slaughtered, and the ones who did survive lived in horrible, inhumane conditions, barely surviving. There is a lot of go rise of anti-Semitism and a lot of other horrible things going on in the world. And I would just like to know your opinion on them. Well, you're obviously right. There is a growing anti-Semitism in the world again. The Jews are convenient scapegoats for many who are anti-Semites in the world. It's the reason that we must always be on guard. Jews can never relax in terms of uh, their safety and their future. And I'm an advocate of staying strong, uh, supporting Israel, and uh, uh, not allowing the anti-Semitic world to get away with it. However, Germany wasn't the only place where anti-Semitism existed. It lived for decades in many other countries, including the former USSR. My family suffered for being Jewish for generations. My mother came to the United States in 1994, looking for a better, safer life. Today's youth strongly believe that humanity has learned its lesson and that history will never repeat itself in the modern world. I was of the same opinion until I saw a documentary called Never Again Is Now. The documentary talks about things that are currently happening in Europe, things that can only be described as devastating. The documentary truly opened my eyes to the rise of anti-Semitism around the world. Rising anti-Semitism isn't limited to just Europe. Threats were happening all over the United States of America, a country that was always known to be a place of freedom and peace. We need to increase awareness of racism and hate and start doing it at a young age all around the world. If we can influence the next generation to be less hateful, racist, more tolerant, and not anti-Semitic, they will understand the value of compassion. So I asked myself a question, what can we do to influence change? If somebody's experiencing anti-Semitism, if they're a victim or they're a bystander, what would you recommend them to do? Tell themselves to stay strong and not to feel intimidated and to try to stand up to it, fight back. Don't let it just come over you or don't just watch it and let it happen. And try report it, right? Report it, try to do something. Report it, write about it. Um, and put attention to it. I took Evelyn's words to heart and spread awareness and education on the topic as best as I could. I interviewed Evelyn and others on the subject. I posted information on multiple sites, including social media and Huffington Post, reaching as many people as I could. I talked on radio shows trying to get the word out. I am working towards a better world through my films and my nonprofit, Kids Resource. I have one simple message to you, the viewer. If you stay quiet and if you don't help, you could be contributing to another genocide, another regime, another point in history we will never be able to forget. My family came here 23 years ago for a safer life and more opportunities for their children. Free of anti-Semitism, now we are seeing it all again. This should not be the case in the United States. Or the rest of the world. Do not let history repeat itself. Do not let never again be now. Do not let Hitler win 90 years later.